Welcome back to Surviving with Schiller. This is episode 18. Breaking news! Evidence of Schulerbrine has been found in local YouTuber Schuler's recent video. Villager number 9 is on the scene. Thank you, villager number 4. I'm here at Woolies, the local wool shop, who printed out these photos for us. As you can see, there were three moments in which we found Schulerbrine in Schuler's latest video. <laughs> Is that actually him? No, it is a photo. Oh, okay. No one has heard from Shula in two weeks. So we approached his home to see if we could get an interview about Shula Brian. Villager number nine is on the scene. Again. We are outside Shula's house. Shula, let us in. Shula. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? I think he's upstairs. I am terrified. Shula! Get out! Get out of here! You don't know what I've been through! You don't know what I have seen! Anyways, welcome back to Surviving with Shula. We are going to be doing some major terraforming today. If you remember any of the previous episodes, we've been working on this behemoth of a terraforming project. Obviously, this is a lot of work already, but we're doing a lot more than just this. And in this episode, I'm not going to finish it, but I am going to get some major work done on it. So we kind of have this thing cut off right here here uh right at the river and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like kind of smooth this out and bring this down to the river and then build up another cliff face on the other side and then build a bridge so it, it, it's gonna be a bit of a project but but we'll get to that later if you remember last episode we built this amazing farmhouse up here and i'm just like super 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 happy with it you know the terraforming is not great but i mean dude Look at this house and tell me that it's not the most amazing house you've ever seen in Minecraft. I'm just, I'm, I'm super happy with it. And you know what? I, it's good to pat yourself on the back from time to time. And I'm going to pat myself on the back for this. The interior, it's nothing special, but like, dude, the outside, I mean, come on, man. But yeah, this is the farmhouse that I made, which means I'm going to be working on this little farm area over here. Just, you know, as the episodes roll out. But yeah, today I'm also going to be making a melon and pumpkin farm. I've been using this dingy one over here and uh, you know, I, I just want something automated and something, you know, not so just peculiar. But before we do any of that, I just need to ask you, um, would you please do me the favor of subscribing? Listen, I'm coming out with these episodes once every two weeks. If you have seen any of them and you're watching this far into this one, Clearly you like the content, clearly you should subscribe. But yeah, if you were to do that, that would be amazing. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you're already subscribed, and also leave a like and a comment if you're going to subscribe. But yeah, uh, 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 thank you. But we're gonna get straight into it today and get, you know, working on this melon and pumpkin farm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like dig like a little hole and then like build a functional farm underground and then i'll build like a decorational thing once i'm done with that but yeah we're just gonna do a quick little time lapse of me building that farm and and yeah let's go time lapse so yeah um obviously i i did end up covering that pond i just i i really didn't like it and i'm not a big fan of terraforming with water mainly just because it really sucks to do so you know i just built the you know the melon and pumpkin farm down there and then we'll put like a nice little melon and pumpkin patch over top but uh yeah it should look pretty cool so here is the farm obviously it's like you know it's pretty simple and it's pretty small i don't know what the rates are gonna be like like i don't know how many pumpkins it's gonna produce this is how much it's produced so far not too bad i'm, I'm hoping that it's gonna produce a lot more melons and pumpkins that I would, you know, mine by hand simply just because it's always going instead of me just going whenever I feel like it. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Obviously, you know, it's underground right here because I really hated this pond. But we're just gonna, you know, keep this cliff here, maybe, you know, change it around a little bit, but then put in like a cool little pumpkin patch and melon and pumpkin patch. Okay, I got all these blocks and stuff and I got some grass to terraform and basically what we're gonna do is we're kinda, kinda gonna like slope it down. We'll slope it down from over here. Okay, and there we go. So I just, you know, obviously just did like a little bit of a slope and I think just, you know, having some like variation uh, to your terrain just makes it look just 
ever so slightly better. So this is some advice if you're ever terraforming, you know, just like put in a little slope, like something easy to deal with and, and, and it'll just, you know, it, it'll just take your terraforming to that next level. But yeah, I'm just going to put in like a little bit of a wall, I think right here. I'm not exactly sure what my plan is for like the design and the aesthetic of this farm, but like... I don't know, I feel like a s little stone wall to like stop animals from coming in. It makes sense, at least. But yeah, we'll just put in like some, some simple texturing and this should hopefully look, you know, halfway decent. <laughs> See, like, like that's nice, that looks pretty cool. Oh jeez. So there we go, we got some walls in and you know, it looks all right. I didn't want to do anything too crazy because I don't know how I'm gonna do terraforming and stuff like, so, you know, I'm keeping it simple on purpose just because I don't know what I'm doing for the future. So now I'm just going to add in like a simple little winding path that goes through this all. So there we go. There, there's something simple. And then we're just going to start placing in like, you know, just some like melons and pumpkins and stuff. I don't really care about like separating these guys. I just want to get like some things growing. And then I have little green candles that I can put on top. I think I'm only going to do that for the pumpkin though. But just putting in, you know, like the occasional little little areas with like stalks coming out and then I can just fill up the rest of these areas with like pumpkins and melons and stuff like that and then that'll look pretty pretty cool see I wish I had freaking sea pickles but like I just can't find any of them so I'm using these stupid green candles and then we'll just put in some like coarse dirt and stuff to kind of line this because then I just want to fill in like all of these areas with just like regular dirt and then we'll splotch in some like brown uh concrete powder as well every once in a while with some more coarse dirt just to give some like texture to the uh you know to 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 the ground we'll toss in like leaves and stuff and then hopefully this will like kind of make it look like there's like vines and stuff coming off of these pumpkins and melons and i don't know it should look cool and then obviously i'll just like plant in like ferns and short grass and stuff every once in a while and then that'll look good so yeah i'll just i'll just build the rest of the thing and then i'll show you once it's done so bang. yep that looks pretty dang cool i'm pretty happy with how this turned out and um you know like we got a little melon and pumpkin farm heck yeah dude so we're gonna turn our sights to the main project now but before we do that, I have a quick announcement to make. If you weren't aware, I have a cameo account where I will record videos of me saying something for you. The holiday season is coming up quick, so hey, if you want to get y your loved one a little message from me, feel free. I'll say, I'll say, happy holidays, happy holidays, and and the, it it will make their holiday season. But um, also, all of the money is going to charity, specifically the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. So you can feel good, you know, that like the money is going somewhere cool. But yeah, thank you so much. Make sure that you buy through the website and not through the app. And back to Minecraft. All right, now we're going to get on with building these freaking cliffs, dude. It's going to be a lot of work, but I, I I think I have what it takes. If you want to hear a little bit more about how I actually do terraforming and stuff, you can watch any of my other videos, but I will also be coming out with a terraforming video uh, soon. Uh, but as for right now, we are just going to be doing a time lapse because it, it, it's going to be a lot of work. So yeah, uh, let, let's get to it. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna go watch this. I'm just gonna, you know, we'll start from over here and I'll show it off. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Come on. Tell me this isn't freaking cool. Yeah, this th this took a quite a bit of work. Um, obviously, I put in this whole new cliff face and then we got like this side also finished and so yeah we have like that little entrance to that place over there and then we'll have a bridge coming across over here and then we just cut through over here and then this will be like 
where we do the next big projects and there's the floating pig but yeah this took so much time and so much resources so i had maybe like eight double chests worth of stone i am down to two this took so many resources to build i like it, it, it it's genuinely crazy and it took so much time too i've never watched stranger things and i decided to start watching it and i i, I literally got through two seasons just building this thing this took way more time than i ever thought that it would take but it did here's a little aerial view now yeah i was going to build a bridge in this episode as well connecting these two areas but dude i don't have time this has taken so long i mean i i am insanely happy with how this turned out but dude, this took so much time. So I'm just gonna have to, you know, I have to end it here. But before we end anything, we gotta add someone to the love garden. And today we are adding in Liam T. Great. Oh gosh, I can't type that fast. But they're a member of my Discord and they also made some freaking fan art. I really love the pixel art. I don't know, dude. I, I just, I really, really, really love pixel art. Um, I love like designing Minecraft skins and stuff, but I don't know how like anyone does like an actual pixel art drawing, but it's super cool. I love the bee up in the top left, but thank you so much for the fan art and it, you are in the love garden with everyone, including Ponka. But thank you everyone for watching this video. Having not edited it yet, I'm assuming that this video is gonna be a little shorter, but I promise I have cool things coming, including a terraforming tutorial, I think coming in two weeks, if all goes according to plan. But yeah, we got some great things coming, um, and thanks so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, comment, uh, uh <laughs> But thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Uh, notification bell. Have you heard that in a bit? I don't know, but you know, I'm coming out with videos every two weeks. So if you want to be notified, hit a notification bell. Leave a like, leave a comment. And thanks so much for watching. I'll, bye. I'll feature saying. <laughs>